Hey guys and welcome to another VFX vlog. In today's vlog I'm going to show you how you can stabilize shaky handheld camera shots using the 2D camera tracker in Adobe After Effects. There are plenty of uses for the 2D camera tracker in Adobe After Effects. First and foremost, obviously motion tracking so you can track the movement of a visual element in your scene and then attach other elements to it. I do have a full tutorial on how to use the motion tracker in Adobe After Effects that you can check out. Just click the link right here and check that out. But the other thing you can do with the motion tracker is you can actually use the tracking information to stabilize your shot. So if you have a handheld shot that's kind of a little bit shaky, a bit, you know, not, not very smooth and even, you can use the 2D camera tracker to stabilize your footage. Now for this technique there's one caveat that is very important to be aware of and that is if you're moving the camera too much, individual frames are going to be very blurry. So even if you stabilize the shot and, you know, the elements stay stable in your scene, you may see jittering on the screen just because some of the frames that you've recorded actually contain a lot of motion blur. If your frames have gotten too blurry, unfortunately there isn't much you can do but reshoot your footage but for you know, slight hand movement or a little bit of that jitter from hand holding a camera, you can easily fix those up with the 2D camera tracker in Adobe After Effects and I'm going to jump into After Effects right now and show you exactly how to do that. Here again I have a clip from our VFX short film Mario's Magic Mushroom. It's the clip of Fat Mario struggling to get up to sit on the couch. Unfortunately, we did not have the camera on a tripod when we shot this scene, so the footage is kind of shaky. Now let me show you how you can stabilize your footage. To stabilize your footage in Adobe After Effects, we're going to use the 2D Motion Tracker. You can find the Motion Tracker under Window, Tracker. This will give you a little panel, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see what is going on, with all of the tracker controls. Now I have a separate tutorial on 2D Motion Tracking on my channel that you can check out. Today we're going to use the motion tracker to stabilize the footage. The first thing you have to do is you have to select the motion source or simply select the layer you want to stabilize. Then go over to your tracker panel and click on stabilize motion. Just like when you're doing motion tracking, Adobe After Effects will add a track point to your footage and you can reposition and scale this up and find a nice high contrast error in your footage that you want to track. Now in this piece of footage the camera does not only shake but it also rotates a little bit so we do want to stabilize the rotation of the camera as well. To do that simply enable the rotation checkbox in the camera tracker. This will add a second track point to your footage. Adobe After Effects will use the angle between these two track points to track the rotation of the camera throughout the shot and then reverse it to stabilize the clip. The next thing we have to do is we have to find some high contrast area in our footage that we can track. Obviously anything on Mario is a really bad choice because Mario himself moves through the shot and is not good for tracking. You want to pick some static geometry in your scene that represents the movement of the camera. I actually think this blue shirt here on the left side of the couch is quite good. It is quite high contrast and it remains visible throughout the entire shot. So let's take the first track point and position it on the left side on the shirt. I'm actually going to select the very corner of the shirt. I'm going to make the search content fairly small and then that area doesn't have to be too big, it's not too shaky. And then let's zoom back out. Obviously we want to start tracking from the beginning of the footage, so make sure you're at the beginning of your composition before you position your track points. And now for the second track point, because After Effects is going to use the second track point to track the rotation of the camera, we don't want this track point to sit too close to the first track point. We want this track point to sit as far away as possible. So let's have a look over on the right side of the footage to see if we can find an area that would be good to track. Uh, kind of a little bit trickier, but maybe let's use this little dent here in the wall. So let's position the track point on that. Maybe this little T intersection is not too bad to track. Ah, again, let's go to the beginning of the composition. Don't do anything stupid and position this track point again. Now let's zoom all the way back out. Make sure we're at the very beginning and start tracking by clicking on the play button in the tracker panel. Now, depending on the search content and the search area for your track points, this can take a couple of minutes. Obviously, what you're seeing here is sped up so you don't have to sit there for a couple of minutes while After Effects is tracking my footage. And over here, we're losing the track point. Um, so what you can do is if the track point gets off course, so here the right one goes off course, you can find the point where it goes off course and manually reposition it where you want it to be. And let's track again. 
Yep, that seems to work fine. It's kind of gone off again. It's not the best area to track, so hopefully it'll be stable enough at least. And just continue tracking and see if we can get a nicer track. And there, the tracker went off again. So let's reposition that. I'm actually going to make the search content for the track pond a little bit smaller. So hopefully it gets confused a little bit less. And then let's continue tracking. Let's scrub through the footage. And yeah, that actually looks quite good. The next thing you want to do is you simply want to click apply in your tracker panel. Um, select X and Y and hit OK. And After Effects will now apply the tracking data from those two track points to your clip to stabilize the motion of the camera. Let's make this a bit smaller again so you can see what is going on and scrub the composition. And the shot is nice and stable. You will see this layer move around quite a bit and you will see black borders around the edges. After Effects is basically stabilizing the contents of this footage by moving the layer around frame by frame to make sure that the content always matches up. The easiest way to get rid of the black borders is simply to scale up the clip and position it nicely in the middle. One important thing to watch out for though is because the motion tracker and the stabilized motion will have applied keyframes onto your layer already, you obviously want to make sure that you don't kind of accidentally move any of these keyframes around. So the easiest thing is go to the very beginning, scale it up and reposition it at that point. Because otherwise you may screw with the keyframes. So I can see some black creeping in at the top right corner. Uh, yep, I think that might work well. Let's zoom back in and play this back. And I'd say that is a pretty well stabilized shot. Now obviously the motion tracker and stabilized motion is not a miracle cure. Let me quickly show you one other example where the motion tracker does not do a very good job. But that's really not the motion tracker's fault, that's really just bad footage. Have a look at this shot here. It's just a bit of farmland, but it is super shaky. It is really bad footage and something like this I'd recommend you reshoot because if you did try to stabilize this, let's try this. It's going to be hard to even track because the features are so blurry. But you know, let's try to do our best and do stabilize the motion. Select your layer, go stabilize motion. Let's also enable stabilize rotation. So let's try to track this and see if we can get anything. Um, maybe let's try like this little black bar here on the pole. Search area has to be quite big, unfortunately, because it is such a shaky piece of footage. So let's position the second track point down here at the top of the pillar. I'm not sure whether we're going to get any more lucky with this, but let's see what happens when we analyze this. And the first track point's already jumping around. Tracker keeps getting confused between different features in your footage just because it's so shaky to track. Seems to work a little bit better for the second half of the video. Although this pillar is giving me a bit of grief here at the bottom. And of course towards the end that little white pillar is actually going out of shot. So maybe let's track something else instead. Maybe the edge of this fence and reposition the track point on the top of the pillar. So we're basically tracking the corner of the fence but it's actually applied to the top of the pillar. Technically you should probably pick something that's at the same depth as that pillar, um, but isn't really anything else that I could track. So let's just try this anyways. Okay, we don't have a good track, but we have a track. So let's try and see what happens if we actually go and apply this. Hit apply, select X and Y and click OK. So now this shot is stabilized and let's see what this looks like. Whoa, that is pretty wonky. For one, obviously you're getting massive black borders because the footage is jumping around so much, but even the stabilized parts, can you see how blurry the individual frames get? And there's nothing much that the camera tracker can do about it because the individual frames of the footage you film are just that blurry. So even if it tries its best and aligns the footage to stabilize it, it just jitters and moves around so much. So a shot like this, I would highly recommend just, you know, bite the bullet and reshoot because you cannot stabilize this motion. It's just crummy footage. You're not going to get something good out of it. The 2D motion tracker and stabilized motion is great for a lot of shots and a lot of little jitters and a little bit of shakiness in your footage to easily fix those up. But once the movement gets too dramatic, you will simply have to reshoot. As you can see, it is really easy to fix up a little bit of shakiness and a little bit of that jitter from hand holding a camera in Adobe After Effects. And I do hope that you get some good use out of this technique. 
I really hope you enjoyed this VFX vlog. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them in the section below and I will get around to answering them. Please remember to subscribe, hit that like button and share the video around. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more, you can also find and follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Until next time, I will see you later.